What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, King Can TV. And today, we're gonna be discussing the topic, man. As you can see on your screen, Carolina Panthers, they are no longer pursuing Deshaun Watson. It's very interesting, it's very interesting, man. I feel like this is, this is an okay move not to pursue him, unless, uh, hold on, let me say this. It's an okay move if you're not gonna pursue him, if you're gonna pursue another quarterback. Right now, Deshaun Watson, he has a lot of stuff going on in his personal life that can affect his professional life, which is understandable for a team to back off on until he, you know, he get that situated. But I also feel like Deshaun Watson is a once in a generation talent. You usually don't get a chance to trade for a once in a generation talent. And we have the opportunity to do that. So for us not to pursue him, when we have the opportunity to, it's very interesting. But I understand. I understand why they're backing off. I understand why they're doing that. Now, it also says that they may still, you know, look into it after he gets his stuff figured out. But I feel like that's going to be too late. That's going to be way too late because say he does get all these cases thrown out and he, he, he has that behind him. Now you have more competition coming for Deshaun Watson because, like I said, he's a once-in-a-generation talent. And you usually don't get an opportunity to trade for players like this. So, with that being said, Carolina ain't going to pursue him, man. We need to start looking at other quarterbacks because I'm still standing on what I said. I do not believe in Sam Darnold. I don't believe in him no more. And I felt like we have the pieces to trade for Deshaun Watson. That way we can upgrade our quarterback play. And all, we, all we're missing is quarterback play at this point. I understand the old line. I understand that. But that old line ain't gonna get no better because nobody trying to trade for him. Well, I ain't gonna say nobody's trying to trade for him. Nobody trying to give up their old line because they know how valuable old line is right now. I feel like we we kind of missed out on that during the draft. Looking back now, even though I like everyone we drafted, I feel like we kind of missed out. And then the the one old line that we did get early on in the draft, he not looking like he gonna be it. He's a project. He, it's going to take time for him. He might have to be moved to a different position because right now left tackle ain't hitting for him. But all that is understood. Right now, the O-line is giving you opportunities at time. And when Sam Darnold has those opportunities, he's not taking advantage of them. Therefore, if we have a quarterback that knows how to take advantage of those opportunities, we, we could we could have won like all those games that we lost. Besides that New York Giants game, every other game was a one-possession game. Quarterback couldn't get it done. Missed reads. Forcing passes. Sam Darnold, he just, he is who he is, man. He is who he is. And you can't, you can't get mad at that. And you can't get mad at that anymore, you know? It is what it is, man. It, we, we should be understanding that it's time to move on from Sam Darnold. And I thought Deshaun Watson, with him being available, with everything going on with him, I'm not going to get into all the personal stuff because, you know, everyone going to feel a type of way. But in my opinion, I felt like it would have been the perfect opportunity since it was just us and the Dolphins seriously considering him. That was the highest chance of probably getting him. If this stuff, If this stuff does go away, Eagles coming in there, Broncos coming in there, Dolphins coming in there. You're going to have other teams trying to come in there. That's more competition. I know other teams like Miami, they have the best they have the best package to trade for them, but they also are waiting to see what will happen with Deshaun Watson. It was just literally us and Miami, man. It was literally us and Miami. I felt like we could have traded a couple pieces for them. It would have hurt, but at the same time, it would have benefited us because now we got a a superstar once in a generation talent at quarterback now. Those games we lost with Sam Darnold, Deshaun Watson could have got it done. Deshaun Watson played behind a terrible offensive line in Texas. He threw for over 5,000 yards. Sam Darnold, he's playing behind a bad offensive line but doesn't know how to get the job done. Therefore, I thought we should have went after him. But as you see, Carolina's going in a different direction, man. And we're going to see what they do. We just traded for it. Well, not traded. We just signed a free agent at wide receiver. So I, I thought that might have been, you know, they tipping their hat that they they about to trade, trade a couple pieces to bring in Deshaun, but clearly they ain't. Other than that, that's going to do it for this video, man. 
Y'all like, subscribe, and comment. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Y'all seen lately, y'all been interacting with me a lot more. I'm appreciating all the love that y'all that y'all giving me, man. A lot of support. I appreciate that, man. I definitely appreciate that. But till then, I'll see y'all in the next video.